Welcome learners. In today's video, we will learn how to write an introduction. So welcome to Murad Nas Academy, the place where people come to learn. If you haven't subscribed my channel yet, then please subscribe it and press on the bell icon to get notifications of my new videos. So in this video, I am about to tell you how you can write a good introduction. So let's learn. Tip number one you should when you are starting introduction okay before starting your introduction you should read 10 to 15 articles okay from what what does what does i mean from this you have to download 10 to 15 articles related to your topic related to your variables what do you have to do that read their introduction part okay i repeat read 10 to 15 articles background or introduction once you have read them make short points and then start writing your introduction with proper citations and references this will help you in writing a good introduction a lengthy introduction in less time then comes parts of introduction the first part is sorry first part is opening statement the opening opening statement of a thesis of a research of your introduction or research proposal introduction is a statement which attracts the readers which grabs the attention of the reader towards the introduction towards your research so it should be attractive one so let me give you an example of an opening statement just take example my studies on green hrm so i'm giving an example recent time green hrm practices domain has shown great rise in research so many authors Many research academics are conducting their study in the field of green HRM. So this is a way how I can start opening statement which will attract my reader towards my study. Next point is sporting statement. Yes, sporting statement. Sporting statement is a statement which links your opening statement with your thesis statement. Okay. It basically supports both two statements or you can say it does the work of a bridge between opening and thesis statement so let me give an example of uh, sporting statement example is many researchers are studying environmental management as okay this is an example of a sporting statement previously i give example of opening statement which i started with recent time green hrm now i am telling that many researchers are studying environmental management so it's a link between these two. Now I will discuss the third one, which is thesis statement or purpose statement. This statement is also known as purpose statement because this statement contains the purpose of your study, purpose of your research, purpose of your thesis. Let me give an e easy example. The purpose of this, of the current study is to examine the Greek, Greek sorry the purpose of this study is to examine green hrm practices impact on employee performance so this is a way of writing your thesis statement next we have is contents of intro introduction the first part of introduction is the background of the study basically when you're writing your introduction of your thesis of your research proposal of your or of your research paper First, you give a background of your study. In background of your study, you write about your study's variables. You write in which different contexts, in which different sectors, in which different countries your study has been conducted in the past. Okay, this is the background of your study. Next point is research gap. In research gap, you write, you identify, sorry, in research gap, you first identify your problem. What are you studying? Okay. In the search gap, you cover the point which previous studies have failed to cover. Okay, or we can say that we can say that the search gap is the gap or the points which previous study has highlighted that they have not covered, they have not studied in their study. So you are identifying those gaps and directing your research on the on these points basis. Next is problem statement. Once you have wrote your search gap then you develop your problem statement in a statement way you write basically in problem statement you explain your problem what is the problem problem of your research what are you studying in your search so you write it write it in a statement form you write your problem in a statement form next we have is research objectives in the search objective you tell about what your main theme is what are you trying to study what are you trying to study about your variables relationship 
you are examining your variables what are you trying to achieve in your study what are you want to find from your results so it all comes in your research objective next we have a research question research questions you explain your search problem what are they actually next is research significance or search importance in the search significance you write the importance of your study you tell that why your research is important for other people let's take example why your research is sorry let's take example why your research is important for research academics number one why your research is important for students for managers for organizations for government okay so how when they these five points which i mentioned five people i mentioned will read your research okay what benefit they will get okay in simple words in the search events you write the benefits which people will get from your study next we have is research scope in the research scope you tell the parameters of your study which are your variables of the study next we have variable definitions it also comes under your bag introduction chapter here you write the definitions of your variables which you have used in your study so under that's it for today i hope i've tried my level best to explain you how you can write introduction in a quick and short manner so if you haven't subscribed my channel then subscribe it press on the notification button sorry press on the bell button to get notifications of my video if you really learned from my video then do like it if you haven't learned anything from this video come do dislike it and if you want any video on research on business accounting websites books education then do comment down below i will try my level best to make video on that on your request so share this video as well with other students so may they also get help from it so that's it for today thanks for watching